this is actually going to be re Extreme Rules with Monday Night Raw. And yes, I'm on the This is working. So, that's why he's not in it. But, alright. Extreme Rules is probably just going to be a quick one. We'll see. You had two kickoff matches. First one was uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Finn Balor for the Intercontinental Championship. And new champion Shinsuke Nakamura won. He and um, he uh, he countered from the coup de gras into the King Sasha for the win. So. And then the next kickoff match was for the Cruiserweight Championship, Tony Nese versus Drew Gulak. And champion retains, Gulak retains, of course he does. He ends up doing his, I think he did his finisher for the win, but Tony Nese tried, he tried, but Gulak still jam. Now, the official start of Extreme Rules, the first match ends up being Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre versus the big dog Roman Reigns and the Undertaker. That match was actually really interesting. Oh, and it's a no hudge part match. But, um, let's see, Elias showed up during the match. He hit, he, um, Taker with the guitar, I think. Taker, and then, he grabbed, Undertaker grabbed Elias, and, but, and then, um, what's that move Drew does? The Claymark kick. He had the Claymark, he'd end up doing the Claymark kick to Taker. And then, he dragged the Taker on the announce table, all of them. And then, so Shane Man could do his thing off the top rope onto the ta on Taker. And then, then, whatever. And they're picking him up and taking him all the way to the corner so Shane could do the coast to coast. And then he mocks freaking Undertaker. Um, the dude, and then he does the coast to coast. And then also when Reigns is up, he uh, punches Elias with the Superman punch. And then, but Drew McIntyre hit the re Russian uh, leg sweep to Reigns. Then Taker did the sit up to Shane. Shane's all shut up, facing the ghost. And then um, choke slam to Shane. Choke slam to Elias. Then Drew McIntyre was behind the uh, range. No, Drew was behind Undertaker. And then didn't realize when the uh, range was gonna run. Spears Drew, and there you go. Tube stone for the win of Shane. So, what's that? Um, and then you just see in the backstage, Trick of Paramount putting wanted poster signs about Bell saying he wants a state bag, whatever. Then you got for the Raw Tag Team titles, Revival and Usos. The Revival retain, the Usos don't get them. So. Was that. I think they did a shadow machine. Now we get to finally see this man in action. We haven't seen him. Alistair Black versus Zaro. And he won. Alistair Black did the jumping high knee and then he did the black mask for the win. Then you see a two on one handicap match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. And Bailey actually won. We were all thinking that Alexa Bliss was gonna win thanks to Nikki Cross, but no, Bailey won. She did the top top elbow to uh, Nikki Cross for the win. Um, then it was the last man standing match with Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman. It it was it was crazy. This match just went crazy. It went all over. It was in the audience. It was in the franchise section to the stage area, everywhere, just everywhere, but then 
Brom, at the end, Brom took Bobby Lashley up to all the way to this uh, one area of the audience, and he lifted him up. Bobby countered, but then he lifted him up again, and then he did like the power slam and hit him. And then at first, and then the rest counting, they don't know where. Oh, can't see anything. But also, you see Braun Strowman coming. Through. You don't see Bobby Lashley though, so. But Braun Strowman won. Um. And now you got the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. New Day versus Heavy Machinery. First in Ryan or Rowan. New champions. Is it heavy machinery or is it New Day? It's the New Day. Six time tag champs now. Um Heavy Machinery was doing pretty good in that in that match. They were showing they were attacking. They were really good. They were doing all their moves and their caterpillar, the compressor, and everything. Um but out of all, and being like close to the end match, Biggie grabs, slams the machinery, Brian tags Rowan in, goes Rowan, slow tags Brian, top headbutt, little by lock, but B Biggie got to the rope, back and forth, slaps, Biggie clotheslines Woods, tags Woods on top, Biggie slams him, you know, Brian. So new new day pinned Brian. Not bad. And then there's a thing, Paul Heyman's like, am I telling the truth or what? Is uh, Brock here? Is he going to cash it in tonight? I was like, oh, we don't know what to believe, Paul Heyman. But anyway, Styles versus Ricochet for the U.S. title. New champion, Styles, beat Ricochet. Technically, um... The bell didn't even ring yet when Ricochet was coming out and the club attacked him. And then he ends up, um, he won with, um, Clash from the top corner. He still has Clash on the top corner. Because the ref was dealing with Anderson, Ricochet was on top, but Luke, um, Luke Allows punched Ricochet. Yeah, punched Ricochet and then made um get him all whoopy and then that's when Styles did the clash for Ricochet. And then you got Kevin Owens versus Dog Ziggler. Quick match. This was a really quick match really. Ziggler slapped Owens and all of a sudden he does the stunner and then he won. Then Owens just takes the mic and he's saying Shane's taking TV time from the other shanking kisses. But, pretty much, blah, blah, blah. That was that. Then you got the WWE World title. Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe. Kofi Kingston still the champion. He fought for that championship. He fought. He fought for it. He ended up doing the triple in paradise. He won. So, that was that. Um, now the main event of Extreme Rules. It's the Mixed Tag Team Extreme Rules match for the Universal and Raw Women's Championship. Winner takes all. Lacey Classy Evans versus Baron Stupid Corbin. With first, Becky Lynch and Seth freaking Rollins. Oof. Alright. This match was really, really good. Um, they both had the Kendall stick, Becky and Seth, and they were hitting Lacey and Barry Corbin. Um, but let's see. Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. Let's see, where's that one part I wrote? Oh, yeah. Let me know. Um, it kept going back for like Lacey Evans and Mary Corbin was like on top and then went to Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. But then where well, they were gonna put them to the table, but they end up putting Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans to the table. And um 
because Becky did a leg drop to Lacey and a frog splash to Baron. The frogs. And then Corbin, he's in the ring. Rollins is getting set to do the stomp to him. But Corbin grabs Becky and does the he does the deep six or the end of days or something. You know, right? Does it in end of days? Yeah, end of days. And then that gets Rollins all fired up like, what, what? And he's just, he's hitting him with a stick. He's pissed off. He's like, don't hurt, touch my girl. Smash, smack, smack. And then he does the stomp. Then he does the second stomp. Then he does the third stomp. And he wins. And thinking Lazy Ed and you see her walking away like, I ain't dealing with this. And then so, uh, don't mess with Rollins no <laughs> And then, um, let's see. And then Lesnar comes out and he catches it in, and yep, he has one F5 pins. Lesnar's champ. Yeah, that's exactly. That's where I'm on. Whatever. But that's whatever. But that was Extreme Rules. Let's see. Monday Night Raw. Well, let's see. Brock Lesnar, he starts off Raw. He's talking about the... some. Well, he's not talking. Heyman's talking. He's talking about there's going to be a Battle Royal, Top 10, Cross Band, and Superstars. And whoever wins will go against him at SummerSlam. He names them off. It's going to be Rollins, Orton, Big E, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, Mysterio, Corbin, Simi Zayn, Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns. And he's like, who will he face? Find out tonight. Then you got Ricochet and the Usos versus Robert Roode and Revival in a two out of three falls match. First fall was Ricochet. He did, I think it was like Biko something to one of the Revival. It's like a flip slam thing. And then Roode went to go for the DDT and then counter a slitter thing and then to a 630 for the win. So they won. Ricochet and the Usos. Then Styles and Clever come to the ring. Ricochet launches at Styles. Um, Usos help. Usos super kicks everyone. Robert Roode, Jimmy Barricade, Jay Uso in the Shadow Machine by the Revival. Ricochet on Revival. And Roode, phenomenal forearm by Styles, that magic killer by the club. That was sad. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy. And then. An easy quick match. You got a tag team match. The Viking Raiders, just a local talent. They end up just doing the Viking experience for the win. What was that? Um, then there was a little thing with Big Maverick and uh, Drew with this hotel thing. That was weird. Um, Drew Mac. Okay, next is Drew Mac time for Cedric Alexander because Drew's pissed off. But Cedric Alexander did the other time with the mask. And surprise it. You're over here thinking Drew's gonna win. Cedric Alexander won. Because Drew goes for the inverted Alabama slam, but Cedric counters and turns into a pin for a win. So that was that. And then you got Samoa Joe versus Finn Balor. Samoa Joe wins. Um, Balor goes back to headlock to a headlock. And once again, Joe counter for a takedown. Bauer looks to counter, but Joe immediately turned it into a quick pin and out of nowhere for the win. And he attacked him, but Bauer ends up standing tall with a sling blade and then a coup de grace. Then, woo, and then it just slowly down the music. And then the lights went out. And then Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt came. He came. So that was that. So we haven't seen Bray Wyatt with the Funhouse, and then he shows up and attacks Finn Balor. Oh boy. Then you got another quick match was quick. Zack Ryder versus Matt Canales. At first it was in backstage and Maria's like, no, 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 I'm going to go because I have a better chance of winning than you do. So she's walking out. Ref stopping her saying, no, you can't wrestle. You can't. And Mike's like, I got this. I got this. And then so he's going in the ring, 
all setting and gets a rough rider. One, two, three, wins. And Maria's like, you should have let me. I could have won. I mean, our, 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 I mean, mine, unborn child had a better chance than you did. Than you also had. And then it was um, a six man tag, Styles in the Club versus Lucha House Party. Obviously, Lucha House Party won. Um, and Styles in the Club won. Um, it was going crazy this much. And then Ricochet comes out because he's going up to Styles. And then Lucha's going up to the club. And the refs come in to um, take Ricochet out. So the match will continue, but um, Styles made a Kalisto tap to the calf cluster, and then Styles wouldn't let go, and but he found let go, and then he just kicked him out of the ring. So that was a Rollins interview. He's pretty much saying that he's gonna go against Lesnar. Um, Lesnar don't deserve it. He'll fight anyone until he gets to Lesnar. Blah blah blah. Then you got a fatal four way. Winner faces Becky at SummerSlam. It's elimination. Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Naomi, and Natalia. Now Becky comes out saying, Oh come on, fight for the champion. Yeah. So, okay. First elimination was Carmella. Bliss eliminated. Carmel's doing all the work. She's uh, fighting Natalia, Natalia and Naomi, but let's sneak snuck behind her and be a rolled up her. That's when they turn. Now they eliminated Naomi with a via roll up. That it was pretty long with those three Get back and forth. But she fell in. This was Natty and Bliss. Natty made Bliss tap to a sharpshooter. Before that, Nikki Cross was getting mad at the audience, saying, "Vote for Alexa, vote for Alexa," and whatever. But so Natty won. She's going against Becky Lynch, and Natty's like, "There will be a war at SummerSlam. There will be a war." Then you got Miss TV. Dolph Ziggler requested to be on it, and he's just talking about Miz, how he is, and he mentions his wife, that made Miz get all fired up, and whatnot. So you can see a match with them. Then you got the crossbin battle royal. I already told you who's in it. Um, Seth Rollins, out of the thing, we all knew who was going to win, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins won. Um, before Braun came out, because he was the last one that came out, he goes, Everyone in there is going to get these hands. And then Brock comes out before the match starts and sits and watches. But, the uh, end of the match, the two that was left was Orton and Rollins. Orton, because he got through the ropes, so he didn't totally only me, so he waited outside the ring dog, but he was out. And when Rollins eliminated, uh, I don't know if it was Braun Strowman or Roman Reigns, whatever one. And then turns around, oh look, it's Randy Orton coming in. And he ends up stomping Orton with the stomp and then eliminated him out. So, and he's saying, shut up, Paul, I'm talking to Brock. I, f I told you I'll fight anyone. Now, I until I have you, it's going to be just like WrestleMania at SummerSlam. Blah blah blah. So, yep. That little segment with freaking Dragon Frick in the freaking locker room. Like, really? Like, really? Well, also, our truth is in 24 Champion now because he snuck in the hotel room. They were getting ready to do the thing. He's all with his belt on him. And then he or Drake's wife ordered the wine. And, and the guy wouldn't leave, and Drake's like, wait a minute, why didn't you leave it? Wait, I know your face. And, um, ends up being a ref, and there's, he's looking all around, there's someone here, there's someone here. 
And then Watcher snuck on him and got him. And he goes, Yahoo! I got my baby back! Yay! But that was Monday Night Raw and Extreme Rules. Let me know how you thought of Extreme Rules and whatnot. And yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye!